Hi everyone, it's Katie. I am here with an Operation Christmas Child unboxing. So today is going to be a boy 10 to 14 and the theme is engineer. Most people seem to do these unboxings and show them like on a tabletop. Unfortunately, all the tabletops in my house are like full of stuff. So I'm going to try to hold this and kind of do it while I'm sitting on the floor and hopefully this works. So on the top of my boxes, I keep a little note of what I still need to finish the box. So in this case, it's size 12 underwear because I had a 14, uh, toothbrush caps, which I have now, soap holders, which I have now, and then tan gram papers, which I will explain. So this box is actually like super, super full. Even with the rubber band, it's kind of bulging a little bit, but hopefully this is okay. I mean, I guess at least the sides click. So when you open it up, I do have the school supplies on top. Hopefully that's not a boring thing to open up to, but that is what's there. In here, there is a pen, eraser, eraser tops, a glue stick, some scissors, a sharpener, a set of colored pencils, about six regular pencils, and then a protractor and a compass. And then we have this little plain set. Basically, it's just wood and you kind of slide it together and make a plane that you can kind of throw and it flies. Now, I did leave this in the package because it has visual instructions of how you can put the plane together. This is kind of my wow item. Now, I showed this in a Walmart haul. This was actually not on sale, but I just loved it so much I needed to get it. So this is a little plain robot. So basically, with all of these tools, you can make this little guy. This has step-by-step -step visual instructions. It shows you all the tools and stuff that it comes with. And of course, the child can play around with making some other things with all of these little screwdrivers and fake little nails and things like that. And it looks like there's actually instructions for a skate robot as well. We have just a ball for an outdoor toy, a couple cars, because you know, I don't know, seems like an engineering thing to me. I have two bars of ivory soap and I'm actually going to include a soap holder. I got these from Amazon. Last year, I pretty religiously included two bars of soap. Um, I'm doing one on some of the boxes this year. I happened to put two in this and I guess we'll leave it for now. A deodorant stick I like to put in some of the 10 to 14s. I have two toothbrushes and I am going to put the toothbrush caps on these. Now, I got these caps from Amazon, and unfortunately, I'm not super knowledgeable about how to open it. That one opened easily, so hopefully they open easily for the children as well. Then we have a little first aid kit. I'm kind of running out of band-aids this year, but I did include some in this one. And then tweezers. I got these in bulk on Amazon. And a pair of nail clippers, also in bulk on Amazon. We have a water cup or, you know, just any kind of cup and they can kind of color their own design. Inside of this, I have one of these toys where you kind of have to try to flick the silver ball and score points by getting it in one of those holders. I have this toy. Obviously, it's tied up right now, but basically, you just toss it and try to get the red ball it back into the holder. I think this is pretty self-explanatory, and they'll be able to figure it out. But I think with engineer theme, their puzzles are important. I mean, I like puzzles anyway, but I think they're important for the theme. I have a little whistle. Two of these little handheld puzzles where you kind of have to navigate the silver ball around. And we got some bouncy balls. Here I have a set of tangrams. I don't know if you guys remember these from literally like a second grade, but I was so terrible at tangrams and then I actually ended up being really terrible at geometry in high school. Now I got these off of Amazon. I actually got eight sets of tangrams. What I intended on doing was printing out tangram sheets and including them in this box. However, I ended up finding this on Amazon. I got two sets of this. And what this comes with 
is a set of 60 cards and also a set of tangrams. So those will be saved for another child. But what I'm doing with these is I'm actually just separating out 15 of them and putting it in four boxes. They're double sided. So this gives them 30 designs to make with their tangrams and then obviously they can get the hang of it and learn on their own as well. Now I don't think you need to be able to speak English to do this very well. I don't think you really need to read that. I think, you know, just the idea of putting things together to make a design. It also does have American letters and numbers, but again, I think the whole putting a design together is more important. So I'm going to take 15 of these and put them in this box. We got a little truck type thing for coloring, cause I don't know, cars and engineering kind of go together for me, construction. A little screwdriver. This little squiggly thing just cause I think it's cute. And then we have a shirt. I don't really have an engineering themed shirt, but this is a shark and it's kind of like dry fit, you know, athletic material. So that's nice. This was $1 at Old Navy when I got it. It's an extra large 14, 16, but even if it's a younger boy, they can definitely still wear a larger shirt. I have one pair of underwear, which is a size 14. I would also like to include a size 12 in this box. A washcloth and then a small notebook. So this is everything I have for my engineering theme. Let me know your feedback if you should, if you think I should put in anything or take anything out in particular. I mean, it's pretty overflowing, so I don't know about putting something in unless I also take something out. And I am still working on getting better at themes. Some people on here are amazing at sticking to their themes, but I'm still working on it. Hopefully I get better at this kind of engineering puzzles theme. But this is my little engineering puzzles theme for a boy 10 to 14.